Hey guys, Jason Goggins here with your fit tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about kettlebells, um, primarily kettlebell swing. One thing I want to point out, we're back here by the rig in the, in the functional fitness area, if you will. Um, kettlebells are located over here. There are some. We also have a kettlebell class that happens in the group exercise room. Uh, that's on Thursday evenings, I believe. I need to check. Uh, but we do have a sign right here too that gives you a couple kettlebell exercises. So feel free to play around. If you have questions, you can ask me. You can ask one of our other trainers. We're here to help, okay? But let's get back to the swing. So with kettlebell swings, what we want to primarily focus on is our posterior channel. Posterior channel is our glutes, our hamstrings, our low back, and all those muscles on the back of our body, okay? So what this motion does is we want to hip hinge not squat, we want to hip hinge, so we're bringing our hips back, sticking your butt out, and we are trying to swing forward as forcefully as we can with our glutes and our hamstrings and our hips, okay? We are not squatting and lifting up. Let me show you here. That's what a lot of people do. It's not an arm exercise. It is a posterior chain exercise, okay? So what a lot of people will do is they will squat, and they'll stand up, and then lift with their arms. This is what it looks like. You can tell that I'm lifting my arms because that thing is not swinging very well. See how I'm standing up? If I don't move my arms at all, that kettlebell doesn't go anywhere. But if I hip hinge and push with my hips, my kettlebell goes somewhere. I'm not doing anything with my arms other than holding on to the kettlebell. Okay? Here's the difference. Squat or hip hinge. All right? As you get that motion down and practice that, you're going to want to add some load. Okay? Because that's really where the benefit of the kettlebell swing goes in. Start light, but with those light kettlebells, you're gonna have a tendency to use your arms. So the heavier it gets, if I move up to the big boy right here, there is zero chance I'm gonna be able to lift this with my arms. I can't, as I'm trying to lift my arms, I can't lift that. If I'm with the 30 pound, I can lift this thing up with my arms. See, my hips aren't moving at all. So, that's how you know if you're doing it right. You're pinching and pushing. You can get that kettlebell up. See the difference there? Me or any of the trainers are happy to help you with that. Um, go perform with you. Whatever, we're here to help. Don't forget that during the month of December, any personal training package over $300 gets you a free MyZone belt. All right.